We will use Freehosting from Vercel and deploy there our website. What we need to do, even before pushing this project to git, we should add there git ignore, because we need to ignore the environment variables mainly from backend, where we are storing our secrets and passwords. And the git ignore is located next to frontend and backend folder, there. So you will create it, dot git ignore, put there these values, but the main one is backend slash dot env. And now we need to check if we have this environment variable for backend base URL. This one we now need to use instead of all localhosts 3000. For example, on homepage, we have this dot get HTTP localhost 3000 product. And now we need to change it for the value that we have there in our environment variable, which is this Vite React app. So let's take this name on home J6. Let's change this. And also be careful, these are backslashes, not the normal single quotes. Now, like we did there, we'll do for all local hosts we can find in our project. That means you will click on this search or do sutl shift F and there you will input localhost 3000 to find for you all the files where you didn't change this yet. You will change all localhost 3000 to this environment variable. You can see the changes I did there. After we did this, we will go into backend folder and create a new file. You will name this file versal.json. After you will create this file, you will insert this because it will specify for versal where is our index.js in the folder. Then we will go into frontend folder and there we will also create the versal.json. But there we will insert just rewrite, source and the destination to index.html exactly like I have there. In case you will be then failing on deployment, go to package.json and like I did, change Cloudinary to this version. Before it was to some version 2.2 and when I was deploying it, it was failing. Then I lowered the version and it passed. But now I will show you how I do the deployment in Versal. Versal will be taking our project from a git repository. So what we need to do is that we will just hit the command sotero shift p. There, we will hit publish to git. There, you will put the name for your repository. I can put there, for example, products2. Hit enter. That way, it will get published to git. In case you will do any changes, let's try it. Let's put there in index.html, something like this, and save it. You will then have your changes there in source control. And in case you want to update your repository and push it, you will click there on plus. You will put there some commit message update and you will click on commit and it will put these changes also to git where you will then have your updated project. Now we will go to Versal and there we will log in. I will click on add new project. There I will have the project I just pushed so Marin Digital Products. I will click on import. There I will leave other. For root directory you will click on edit and backend continue. And then in environment variables, you need to set all the environment variables you have. So we will go back to VS Code. If we'll go to our backend folder and to environment variables, we will need to copy paste there all these environment variables we have there. So let's start. First, I will input there JWT secret and value, click on add, and then I will add the next environment variable, frontend URL, and this won't be localhost. This will be the actual URL of the frontend we will deploy after this backend. So for now, we can leave this empty, just add it like this, and we will update it. But now, keep adding the rest of all the variables we have there. Now you can see I added them there, and we will click on deploy. Now our page is deployed, you will click there on your project, and we will do deployment of the frontend. We will click on add new project. There, we will use the same repository as we used before. We will set the preset for Vite. There, we will click and add it to a frontend. So the root directory will be frontend. And then to environment variables, we will check which one we have in frontend folder. And it's this one. So we will copy it, put it there. And into value, we will put the URL of our backend. So let's go to our backend deployment. 
and there we will copy this URL. We will paste it there. But before the URL, we will put HTTPS slash slash. Otherwise, we won't be able to do the requests. Now we click on Add. We will hit the Deploy. Now our page got deployed. And now we need to take this URL of the front end. Go into our backend application deployment. Click on the project. Click on settings. Go into environment variables. And there we need to input the front end URL that we got by this deployment of front end. So we will click on edit. We will put there the URL and we will put there HTTPS. Now we will click on save. And after we will change this, we will go into deployments and there redeploy and redeploy. Because as we change the environment variable, we need to redeploy the backend. And now on our page, we can try to buy a product. So edit there, proceed to checkout. And the Stripe is working. We can just pay this. That's it.